Hey guys, um, I just want to make, uh, my video about coming out. Yeah, it's been a couple of months, and I'm just now getting to it. Um, I came out in a letter, and this is what my letter said. Dear Mom and Dad, I want to tell you something that is very important to me. I was debating whether to tell you because I'm scared to death of the reaction. I hope you still love me because I love you both so much. I'm gay. I am still the same son you knew for 18 years. No, I did not choose to be gay. I was born this way. I know this may be a shocker to you. Please do not be disappointed. I know that this is going to take a while for you to accept. I understand. I hope that you will not... I hope that will be not too long. Please be sure to let me know how you are feeling. I do not want to lose my mind trying to figure out how you are thinking. Communication is vital for us to survive this. With this letter, I provided a pamphlet that has information you might find useful. If you have any more questions that the pamphlet did not answer, ask me and I will try to answer. I'm out to almost that. I'm out to almost everyone that I care about but you two. The reason is that I care about you two. Both my friends said you already know, however I doubted them, so this is to be sure. I've kept this secret from you all my life, however telling you today was too telling you earlier was too risky. The reason I have decided to tell you now is I'm eighteen and also it's national coming out day. I've planned coming out to you ever since the beginning of the year, I've known since way back in kindergarten. It was very hard growing up knowing that people would not like me. There were many times where I just wanted to end it all, but there were people that told me otherwise. Dad, I think this is the reason why we do not get along. I was too afraid to open up around you and be myself. The reason is I was scared you would see the real me. In addition, I was sure you probably would not like the real me. Well, that's all I have to say. Please still love and accept me. Love your son, Kevin. Yeah, it's my coming out letter. Yeah, I kind of, you know, started in there because it brought up some old emotions. And reading back through it, I, I see a lot of spelling errors and crazy. Um, yes, my birthday's on October 11th, and that's National Coming Out Day. So I was 18, and I was coming out on National Coming Out Day. And I had this... If, if you signed up to, what is it called, H, no, there's something called, uh, the help gay people, the thingy, hold on, it's called, uh, what was it called, it's called Humans Right Campaign, and, like, a month before National Coming Out Day, they sent out a letter saying, if you want a coming out kid, and I figured, okay, this will give me another thing to help me come out. And they sent me this packet. It was full of pamphlets for straight, homosexual, lesbians, transgenders. It had balloons, stickers, and this two big posters. And I got that, and they had a pamphlet for, uh, basically, people who, like, someone has came out to you. had all about it, how to accept, and what stages, and all that. And I gave that to both my parents, and, yeah, well, let me tell you something. First off, uh, I, that letter I read, I, I printed it out and folded it up and set it on my mother's couch where she sits every morning. She just got done eating, and she left the room. I went in there and sat it down, and, whew, I was nervous. She went in there, and I sat down on the computer waiting and waiting. Five minutes later, she, sh uh, she didn't do nothing. I walked in there, and I was like, oh my god. She was like, I always knew. <laughs> and I kind of went into shock. I was like, oh my god. Because for the last, like, 12 years, I'm like, my parents are going to hate me. My parents are going to hate me. They're going to kick me out. My parents are like, no, no, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. They'll still love you and accept you. I'm like, no, they won't. They'll kick me out. Well, my friends were right. And 
we talked, she gave me a hug. I almost cried, but I was like, uh, there's no reason to be crying. <laughs> and I went out about my way. And later on, I went to Charlotte. Yeah, I went to Charlotte with my friends. We partied, and I didn't want to be around my dad read it because I was scared to death. So, he read it, and he didn't call me. He sent me a text message, and he compared to me being gay to was cleaning my room. He loves me whether or not I clean my room or not, whether I'm gay or not. I was like, aww, and then I was like, did he just compare me to cleaning, me being gay to comparing cleaning my room? I was like, what the hell? But yeah, they all still love me and accept me, and me and my dad, uh, we still don't get along. It's not me being gay, it's just we're too much of a like and we bump heads a lot. Well, that's my little coming out. Uh, best wishes to you still in the closet. Come out to come out of the closet. We have cakes and chips. You'll love it here. And you'll come out when you're ready. To those who are out, hey, I need some friends. You know anybody? Call me. Message me. MySpace me. Well, Merry Christmas to people who are already Christmas, and Christmas for me is in two hours, so yes. Happy Holidays to those who don't celebrate it, and Happy New Year's to everybody. May you have a great 2008. Bye, guys.